Like beer, should you be tilting your glass of wine while pouring it in the glass? Now, let's first understand why we do this with beer. In case of beer, you tilt the glass for two reasons. One is you want to minimize the fizz formation at the time of pouring. And two, you want to also reduce the chances of any spillage while pouring. But in case of white and red wines, there is no fizz. So there is no question of worrying about that. In which case, the more elegant way to pour your wine is simply to place the glass on the table, hold the bottle of the wine at the end, take the neck of the bottle closer to the glass and simply pour. You can give it a slight twist to stop the pouring. Now, in case of sparkling wines, you might argue, oh, that has bubbles just like beer. You're actually trying to keep the fizz. That's the beauty of sparkling wines. So again, the more elegant thing to do is to place your glass on the table and simply pour confidently. Now, if you think there is too much fizz, you can also quickly stop, allow the mousse to settle and continue the pouring till your glass is nearly two-third full. And that's how you pour your wine glass. Not necessarily by lifting and tilting the glass, but simply placing it on the table and pouring with confidence. Cheers.